Alright guys, Fun Doris here, so I'm just going to talk about Scarlet and Violet and if it's going to be a good game or not. So I actually have some opinions and some ideas and thoughts about this game and like future Pokemon games and even recent Pokemon games. So I mean, stating the obvious here, it looks like an open world game, which a lot of people either like it or a lot of people don't like it. I personally am kind of in the middle. I do like it, but I also miss the feel of the original Pokemon games where it's like you have a dedicated storyline, you have to go specific places to unlock other areas and whatnot. But I've definitely grown to like open world games like Legends Arceus. I had so much fun playing that game. I thought that was a great game. The way I'm kind of looking at it is in Pokemon, like if you were actually a Pokemon trainer in real life, these type of games are more realistic to how it would go. Like you would be exploring the land, running around by yourself, going in areas that may be important or may not be important, finding new Pokemon, finding different areas, unlocking things, meeting other trainers, and having a whole journey that you've created by yourself. I hope what I'm saying makes sense, because I'm not trying to take away from the old Pokemon games. I love the old Pokemon games. You know, Pokemon Platinum is probably my favorite that I've ever played. I think that with new technology and, you know, advancing into the future, I'm pretty sure Nintendo and Pokemon and everyone, they're trying to just adapt to new styles because I feel like if everyone played the exact same type of Pokemon game every single year, it would get too repetitive and people would get tired of it. I mean, I could totally be wrong though. I'm just trying to take this game uh, for what it is and take it with a grain of salt and try to appreciate it for what it is. I mean, I do have my concerns, you know, it's like with the whole gym thing where it's like there's no specific gym battles that you're supposed to do before another one. I feel like that's kind of weird. I'm also a little bit concerned that it's not going to feel like a Pokemon game because, you know, when you un unbox a new Pokemon game, you start playing it and it's so fun because it's like, dang, we get to explore some new, a new area with new Pokemon. And I hope that this game is like that. I hope it has that same type of special pizzazz, I guess I'll say, as previous Pokemon games. Um, but I don't really know. It's hard to say. The game comes out in about two weeks, I think. Another thing I was thinking about is like, the new Pokemon designs are so weird. I feel like they're all like food related. There's so many like new Pokemon that are designed after food. I feel like the game will definitely surprise us though because I remember Legends Arceus, nobody thought the game was gonna be good. And that game got so much praise. People loved it. It was seriously really fun. Definitely probably one of my favorite games on the Switch. Probably top five, top three maybe. You could tell they definitely implemented a lot of things from Legends Arceus into Scarlet and Violet. Just by looking at the gameplay that we've seen so far, you know, Pokemon are running out in the open like this instead of just randomly appearing when you're running through bushes or whatever. I kind of like this though. I mean, it definitely makes shiny hunting a lot easier. The full odds and everything, like, you know, the odds are still the same, but it's just easier because you can actually see the Pokemon and they'll actually appear as a shiny rather than you running around in a bush and hoping that you're going to get a shiny Pokemon. It's also kind of neat to like actually see Pokemon out in the open because once again, that's more realistic to like what it would be if you're actually a Pokemon trainer. You would see these Pokemon out in the open, just chilling, minding their own business until they see you and they want to attack you or whatever. Or some Pokemon just don't mind. Some Pokemon are just like, yo, whatever, pass me, catch me. I don't really care. I'm down for whatever. Another issue that a lot of people are talking about are the graphics, which I definitely agree with. Like Legends Arceus, for example, the graphics were really bad for that game for a game being released in 2021. That was pretty wild. I mean, the game was so great. The gameplay was so fun. But with this game, graphics kind of look better, but they definitely look a little weird still. Um, I feel like they definitely focused on the moves and battling. That's where all the money for the graphics went. Like, look at this image right here. It's like the sand and the rocks. They just, they just don't look good. It, there's no detail to it. But as you can see in this battle, look at each move. Each attack has like a really cool effect to it. You could see the flames and the shock waves or whatever's going on. The Pokeball has a cool animation. So I definitely think they focused more on that rather than the actual gameplay graphics of the local area. Like the grass kind of looks a little flat. I mean, they definitely can improve on it, but maybe all the budget went to the Pokemon animations, which isn't terrible but you know pokemon's like one of the biggest multi-billion dollar franchises they should definitely put some more money into getting some better graphics for the nature part of it nature aspect and who knows maybe we'll get something like that in the future i know that the switch isn't amazing with like the power and hardware to it i know it's a little bit dated but 
Maybe the next console, they'll do something special and we can get some insane Pokemon graphics. Overall though, I'm definitely excited for the game. I mean, I'm not pre-ordering it because the freaking pre-order bonuses are all absolutely terrible. Like they're so bad. So I'm just going to go pick it up at the store whenever it's released. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to hear your opinion in the description as well. I hope you guys are looking forward to it because it's probably going to surprise us. You know, who knows? I guess we'll have to see when it's released and see some more gameplay of it and some more like Twitch live streams and whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.